Sliding in at number 28 is the Spectrum Center in Charlotte. Opened in 2005 with a capacity of 19,077, this $265 million arena offers a solid fan experience but doesn't stand out from the crowd. It's functional but feels a little too standard. Number 27 is the home of some of the most passionate fans, the Paycom Center. Opened in 2002, this 18,000 jitter three-seat venue costs just $89 million to build. While the fans bring electric energy, the arena itself could use a few more bells and whistles to match the excitement on the court. Coming in at number 26 is Gainbridge Fieldhouse. Opened in 1999, this basketball-centric arena fits 17 923 fans and cost $183 million to build. While it has an intimate basketball feel, it's starting to show its age and could use a modern facelift. At number 25, we have the FedEx Forum, the Grindhouse of Memphis. Opened in 2004, this $250 million venue seats 18,119 fans. Known for its gritty atmosphere, the arena has solid vibes but lacks any true standout features that would push it higher on the list. Number 24 brings us to Cleveland's Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Opened in 1994 and renovated in 2019 for $193 million, this arena holds 19,532 fans. A great mix of old-school charm with modern touches, it still lands in the middle of the pack. 